Hi guys, that's right. We're here at Delfino Farms. I just finished the corn maze. I'm lying. Oh. That's the entrance. <laughs> Chris, Peter, you guys built this corn maze. You started it on June 1st, and look at how magnificent it is. Absolutely, we did. And here they are, 14 feet high, and Ooh. there's eight dead ends and some loops and everything. So good luck getting through that one. I'm surprised uh, you made it. <laughs> and, fast in the dark. It's so fast in the dark. Yeah. So um, this this is like you said that it's really hard to, to create these. That there are some tips and tricks. To give us a little insight there. Right. You do that when you when you plant it. You wait till they're about. Only about a foot high, and then you get a good view of it, and then you could make a cormaze falling behind it, taken out with a weed eater. They're real small. Yeah. Now it would be impossible. Right. And then what you do, you can't flood it because we're on a slide. So I, I went two feet apart with a drip cam, and by dripping it, it soaked it. And now look how strong and big they are. I love that you love what you do, and you you have somebody that hangs out in that in a tree that's way back there to make sure kiddos don't get lost. Absolutely, a hundred year old uh, um, old pear tree. I put a uh, uh, I built a, a shed up there, and they look over, make sure people don't get lost, and they make sure they're not destroying the corn maze too. Okay, and Peter, you agreed to do this for us right here, right now, right? <laughs> no, I don't know what's in there right now. Uh, there could be an animal or something. It's early in the morning, so <laughs> that is, it's pretty scary. And so that's almost like your lifeguard that just sits on the tower. And make sure that nobody gets lost, or you know, you need to go rescue them. Right. We don't want it to get dark at night, and there's somebody stuck in there. We That's need right. somebody to watch over it. Do you have a count? Like, okay, five people went in, <laughs> three people came out. We better have a count. We absolutely have to have that count, or we know somebody else they have count out. They can live off the corn, yeah. though. <laughs> they can live off the corn. corn. Yeah. When does this open to the public? Uh, it opens on the 16th of oh, September. Really? Awesome. Okay, and now we've got this beautiful pumpkin patch. Charlie Brown would love it. Yeah. Yep. Show me. Are these are huge? And you said they're just starting to get their uh, color. They're just turning orange. Absolutely. Over four acres of pumpkins goes all the way up to those trees, and people can pick their own pumpkin. We have some enormous pumpkins in here. It's a perfect size for people. They can come pick their own pumpkin and, and, and go into the corn maze at the same time. What an enjoyable time they have here, right in this beautiful ranch. And the best part is you said that this is so affordable. Absolutely, very affordable. Uh, the pumpkins are very middle priced. For a child to get in here, there's only $3 to get in the corn maze. So it's very affordable for people to come up here, get a pumpkin on a pumpkin patch, and go into a big corn maze. And you love what you do. How much time do you typically spend in this part of, the, of well, your land? Quite, quite a t lot of time. You have yeah. To have no weeds in here and have a corn maze like that, it takes effort. You want to see a bad farmer, go look at it. It's easy to see. Oh. You want to see a good farmer, it's easy to see too. All right, and so um, do you ever see the great pumpkin? Like when you pull up, is he here? Does he disappear? Uh, absolutely. Oh, Peter, Peter, Peter knows. Peter, tell me a little bit about that. Uh, how, did, how did you feel when you saw that? The great pumpkin? Yeah. Yeah, he, he roams around out here. He moves, so we never know where he is. All right, well, Peter, we've got so much more to see here at Delfino Farms. Um, give us a little bit, give us a preview. Yeah, so we have a lot of different products here. Uh, we have our Henrietta Stitch Hard Cider. That's coming up next. Ooh, yes. All right, uh, so that's our tease. Mm -hmm. So we'll see you guys coming up. We're going to hit the cider a little early, 7 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> that's not too early. Studio. That's not too early. I feel like you already have. Yeah. <laughs>